Yo, what is up people? Ellie's your boy, Steam was right here, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day once again today. Okay, so welcome back once again to another video, of course, of our MK Don's career mode that we have been doing uh, for, you know, however long it's been. It's literally been, what, what, we've done like 10 seasons, something like that. Uh, it's crazy, but I'm happy with this. Um, I'm glad with the journey that I've been on. Um, and yeah, I've gotten really far, of course, now, and uh, won a lot of times, of course, with MK Don's. And uh, yeah, finally we've got the Premier League obviously under our belt at last. It took quite a while to get it, but it is what it is, you know. I don't know why it did, it just uh, just did. There's enough really to, uh, else to say really on that. It was just, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so straight on to another season. But this season, of course, we've got to defend that Premier League title and of course Champions League as well. Um, and just, yeah, any other cup we're in, we've just got to try and. Hopefully win them, um, but we'll just do what we can. Um, but yeah, we've got the first game, uh, obviously off this video, it is against Wolves in the Community Shield, so it could be a tough game. Uh, Wolves, obviously, they beat Man City on the last day of the season as well, and uh, seemed like a pretty good team. Um, I think last time we played them, I think we only beat them 2-0. Still a win, of course, um, but you know uh, we have to probably perform better and make sure we do uh, to you know, obviously get the result. Uh, but them in the Community Shield, because obviously they won the FA Cup, so it shows they're obviously a good team towards the end, or for most of last season anyways. Um, I don't know where they finished, I think they, they must have finished like, I guess like, must have been like 9th, 10th, I don't remember them being any further to be fair. Um, but yeah, so obviously we'll do what we can do in this, um, but yeah, so pretty exciting. Okay, so before we get on to that first game, of course in the Community Shield, um, obviously, usually, as you guys probably know if you've been watching my videos, we talk about, of course, our transfer window uh, activity that we've been doing and of course <laughs> we're going to go on and see about what we've done first of course and uh, these are the three players as you see on the screen here um, the only three that we have done so far is literally in total I think it's about 102 million I've spent on just these three players <laughs> um, but yeah it's what it is I've got a lot of money you know and I've, I can spend it so it doesn't really matter um, but we've bought this guy Ignacio Graguera Amado if that's how you say it 23 year old Spaniard CDM uh, slash centre mid, uh, 70 grand a week I've offered him and uh, we paid 60 million pounds for him. Seemed like a pretty decent player, really did seem like a really good player. Um, and then we've got this guy called Jesse Heister, an 18 year old German centre mid. Uh, we got him, um, where did he come from? Uh, it doesn't actually say where he bought him from, well, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, um, I know we've got this guy Amado from Celta Vigo, but Heister. I can't remember who he's from, but we spent 10 million on him anyways. He's a young, 18-year-old, like and he looks pretty decent to be honest. Um, he actually does look like a good, good little player. Um, so yeah, obviously, we went for him, and then we've got this guy. And this guy's a last-minute buy. Um, still, obviously, got a month left of transfers, uh, so selling or buying or whatever. But um, but we got this guy from Leicester as well. 23-year-old uh, uh, Brazilian left back, uh, 50 grand a week. He was on about 72 uh, when we first uh, went to go in for him. Uh, but he agreed to obviously reduce it and we spent 27 and a half million pounds on him so you know he's just an extra left back because obviously um, we actually only had two uh, left back so which is all right it's not exactly too bad but if you get an injury you only start with that one left back if he gets tired that's it you know what I mean so and uh, Barboza seems like a pretty cool player uh, Matthias Barboza you know so yeah, he just seems really pretty good. So yeah, they're the three we bought, anyways. I don't want to obviously continue blabbing on so much about these, but yeah, you know, obviously, if you've been watching my videos, you know that obviously I go on about transfers because there's obviously transfer window. So that's what I always do. Uh, so these videos can be sometimes longer than usual. Um, but yeah, so that's who we bought so far. Okay, so onto the people that we have sold and we've got rid of uh, in our club. Uh, we've actually got rid of this guy, or well, not rid, but he's on loan. Just a young 18-year-old. Looks pretty decent, but yeah, he's gone out on loan. Uh, Owen Thomas, a 22-year-old right mid, English player. He's actually gone uh, complete now for £14 million to Evan. Seems like a good player. As you see his stats there, pretty decent. But yeah, I've got so many players in those positions, I need to just reduce the, the club, really. And I just thought, you know what, didn't seem all great when I was uh, controlling him. Um, he was on loan uh, at Roma, I think, last season. So, you know, yeah, I, it's just as well as I just, I wasn't really... I'm not too keen on them as such, but yeah. Um, we sold Sandro Tonali as well for £84.6 million pounds, uh, to Inter Milan. Again, a player I didn't really want to let go, but we've got players like the Armado we've just bought as well. 
Um, we've got another young, two youngsters actually coming through that are CDMs. So I thought, you know what, let's get rid of at least one of our experienced players and uh, then give the youngsters, you know, the bell, you know, as simple as that to, to uh, obviously break them through. So we got rid of him and a uh, decent bit of money as well. So, you know, um, 84.6 million, can't complain. Um, Kai Havertz, obviously the biggest one, he actually went for £122 million to Napoli. And uh, Napoli, obviously, like I said, got 122 million, uh, 210 grannies on that there club now. Jesus, um, obviously he's one of the world's best, as it says. But at 28, and to be honest, I didn't like the feel of him. He scored some different, like really good goals for me, good pass, I guess. But um, I don't know. There's just something about him. I didn't really enjoy him. But it is what it is. Um, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I mean, as you can tell, I just, I don't know what, what I thought about him. I just thought he just didn't seem, you know. Great to control, simple as that really. So I got rid of him. Um, and then we got rid of this guy for 1.9 million, some Evan Kerr, uh, 18 year old. New York wanted him, um, high school we bought of course. Igor Gumney, our uh, you know, right back, 23 year, um, 25 year old I think, yeah. 14.7 million, and Napoli again, uh, bought two of our players. He went, you know, wasn't really too keen of him. So he went in the end. Uh, Hilal went on loan, yeah, yeah, it, that's what it will show, but they're the main ones anyways, that's actually gone through, especially Gumney, uh, Havertz and Tonali, and you could say Thomas, the main ones that have gone. I've got one guy, uh, Seninga, if you remember him, he's actually off uh, to, I think, Real Betty, if the deal goes through, if they obviously agree, and uh, then also that would be him gone, so, yeah, they're the transfers, that is all for now, so that's all I'm going to say, that's all I'm going to blab on about, um, but we've got the Community Shield, Against Wolverhampton Wanderers, not going to be easy, but again, we'll do what we can do. So let's go and get this victory. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not oh, that's it. it. That's it. Pardo. Yes. Davis is at the back post. A simple ball across to the back. And you know I'm going to do that. And it's a typical move that all our speaker players do. Uh, but I had to do that. I really, I really had to. And a straight into Pardo. And a good ball to the back there. And there you go. Davis gets the goal finally after so many chances. Obviously, I won't show them all, but Jesus Christ, come on. Oh. Alright. It's a good equaliser, to be fair, but it's sort of well worked, you could say. It's probably one of the best well worked goals I've seen, but. Again, I stay with them. I stay. I've actually stayed with them, so I don't get how they've managed to get space. Well, right. one one. Oh, Felix could. Oh, yeah, he's he's still going. Felix to the back post, and oh my! Oh man, serious? How have we not made it two one now? I don't know. Oh, all right, extra time it is. Jesus Christ, man. Or is it penalties? I think it's penalties, actually, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's such a boring game. It really was. Um, yeah, straight into penalties. You know, I mean, Wolves deserved it in some ways, but all right, let's see what we can do in penalties. So let's go ahead with this. And, uh, okay, it's them taking the first one. Oh, come on. All right. Let's go. We're going to just go this side. Oh shit, oh, I pressed, oh, I screwed on that penalty, fuck's sake. Oh, really? That was a bit lucky. Come on, Davis, you're a good penalty taker. Get in that corner, my son. Right, maybe not. <laughs> Mate, I think we've lost this. I think we've legit lost this. It's my new sign taking his first penalty for us as well. Oh, God. What a way to lose this. Wow, we actually have. <laughs> oh, man. Here's what it is. It's Community Shield. You know what? Let Wolves take something. You know, I mean, they won the FA Cup, but... Should be winning that. Um, I don't think we should be losing that. No way near. Much better. <laughs> sort of half and half, really. Um, but then penalties, again, it's always 50-50. Oh, okay, we lose the Community Shield. Here's what it is. Okay, so on to our next game. We have none other than Manchester City to start our Premier League defence against, which is 
Honestly, unbelievable to start with Man City. What a game. Away as well. So this would be huge to get the start against Man City with three points against them and to give them their first defeat of the season already. So hopefully we can do that. So let's go ahead with this. Let's get the three points and uh, let's play some good football in this one. We really do need to win this one. So let's hopefully get a good start anyway. So let's go. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Quick play there. Get me through. Pomical puts it in for 1 0. Nine minutes gone. What a start. Definitely what we needed. And uh, Pomical's still on the floor. Oh, he's back up there. I was like, what the hell's going on here? Pomical took ages to get back up there. Uh, but it's a great one. The play there, like literally the quick 1 2 pass in there, as you probably see, was incredible to get Pomical off and going. And uh, yeah, it's a great start through the legs. And uh, yeah, 1 0. Oh. Malaysia comes up. He's going to go for it. Yannick Wagner, 2 0. 2 0 inside 13 minutes over Manchester City. And oh my God, we are playing so much better than what we had before. And we are 2 0 up. Honestly, uh, Malaysia does brilliant there. Great space on that left side. And then Wagner on the uh, rebound, as you do, smashes it in. And there you go. 2 0 inside, you know, like I said, 13 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. Yeah, what a start. Oh, great ball. Go on, Mbappe. Oh, Wagner, 3-0. Man City tried clearing it. It completely went wrong. Straight to Wagner there. He scores his second goal of the game and already his second goal of the season. And uh, Yannick Wagner, the new number eight, obviously Havertz has left. So Wagner became number eight. And he's got now the first team position there. And uh, good little chipping from Mbappe here. Just didn't reach uh, Davis, but then it was clear wrong, completely wrong. Wagner's there, three 0 Oh, oh, oh my! Football at its best. Come on, let's get something out of this. We're absolutely dominating. Oh my! <laughs> what an effort from Yannick Wagner. What a hat trick that would have been, honestly. Come on, Tom Are oh, you still going, Penny? <laughs> oh my god, they've actually conceded a penny from there, really? Jesus Christ. Um, it's a yellow card. I didn't think it could be anything actually there. Um, but the, there's a bit of confusion. I didn't know if Tom Anello was going to keep, keep, keep going through, and he actually did. And uh, yeah, Tom Anello wins a penalty. Yeah, it's, just, it's a penalty, it is what it is. Yeah, let's hopefully make it another goal. Mbappe is going to be a player to take it. You know, let's aim for that top corner. Mbappe, oh, <laughs> I missed another penalty, I can't score penalties at the moment, Jesus, get the ball back in, go on, oh, oh, unlucky with that penalty, unlucky, oh shit, as you see there, I was completely yawning, I was just like, tired as anything, and it is that guy again, man, he scored again against me, um, I'm not even blaming that on my tiredness now, I was, I was, I was just getting, just having a bit of a yawn there, trying to stay with him, and this guy just dribbles. I feel like just buying him for the fun of it. I'm not even joking. Um, his stamina and everything must be so good. He's like 29, I think now. That's the only problem. It's not a massive problem, but yeah. Um, but great finish, great goal, three-one. There you go. Great start to the Premier League. A great start to defending our Premier League title. Completely dominated against them. Um, just a shame they got that goal last minute. It would have been nice to have a clean sheet. Um, but yeah, I know I was yawning a bit there, but I don't know, it's 3-1, it's 3 points, and that is definitely, as I always say, all that matters, so brilliant start to the league. Okay, so on to our third game of this video, we have none other than AS Roma in the UEFA Super Cup uh, final, um, we're going to want to win this one considering we didn't beat Wolves in the community shield, so we're going to hopefully want to win this one, uh, so yeah, like I said, hopefully we do, um, but yeah, so we'll do what we can. After a good, impressive victory over Man City to get our Premier League uh, title defence underway as well. Um, so yeah, Roma it is. Let's do this and let's get that first trophy of the season. I've got on Pomical. Yes! It's a good little ball from Felix. Inside 20 minutes, we take the lead again in the, in the cup final because we took the lead against Wolves. Um, but yeah, so we took the lead against Roma now this time. It, um, like I said, second time now. And uh, yeah, we'll hope that we can hold on to this 
or, or extend it, no matter what one it is. Um, but yeah, good little ball there from Felix, and then Pomical runs onto it, and again, he gets another goal in his uh, career of MK Dons, so 1 0. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. What the hell happened there? I have absolutely no clue how Rome have just scored an equaliser. I don't know. I actually don't know how they scored that. I mean, it's rough getting it out, but. When I was Jaden Sancho just there playing that bat, I didn't actually do that. I'm going to be honest, I didn't do it. Um, yeah. Okay. 1 1. Oh, good ball down. Come on, Felix. That's it. He's still going. I've got a penalty. <laughs> All right, Victor Lindelof. He's actually a Roman now, I didn't know. Um, he's got a yellow card for it. As you see, a lot of pulling back, but I thought that was actually originally outside the box when the flag went up. But, okay, we've got another penalty. Are we going to score this? I don't know. But um, <laughs> we're going to have Felix take it. Um, I guess I'll go this side. Can we score this time? We do. Yes. Two on just for a hard time, fully deserved in a way, and uh, yes, we have made it two one just before half time, like I said, and uh, yeah, so fully deserved the penalty, done. Oh, great ball! What a ball! Sancho has got Yannick Wagner for three one, fully deserved. I say that a lot, I know, but <laughs> it is three one, and uh, yeah, like I said, brilliant stuff, good play, and Yannick Wagner already with his. I think that's his third goal in these three games. So at least one goal on average every game. Brilliant stuff. Uh, brilliant from Sancho as well. And a good little finish from Yannick Wagner. Makes it 3-1. Oh, come on, Pardo. That's it. Gets all the way through. And oh, <laughs> it's in. It's 4-1. It is Martin Pardo who puts it in. Just gets underneath the keeper and uh, creeps across the goal line. And there he go. It is 4-1. <sighs> great run. Honestly, a great run from Pardo. It's, it's a decent effort, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's unfortunate for Roma, but it is what it is. 4-1. Okay, it is a 4-1 victory. It is the first trophy all the season we take. Uh, could have been the second we beat, of course, Wolves in the Community Shield. But it's the first trophy we take, and, uh, yeah, fully deserved. Uh, dominated them, as you see there, 4-1. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll show you the celebration, but there's no need. Uh, we showed it before. Um, but yeah, simple, good win, 4 1, and uh, yeah, fully deserved. So, brilliant start. <sighs> okay, so on to our final game of this video. We have none other than Brighton, uh, yeah, Brighton at home in the Premier League. So, hopefully, to get a second win under our belt um, and continue our you know, good start. Obviously, it's only one game, but <laughs> our good start to, uh, to the season. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we can do that. Um, but like I said, we have got Brian at home. So let's get those points and uh, let's continue uh, yeah, where we left off basically with that win over Man City. So let's do this. Oh, go on Mbappe. That's it. Mbappe gets through and he goes in into the corner for 1-0 inside 23 minutes. Taking a bit of time. Um, but I don't really have a reason as to why. But it's 1-0 and it is a good start. So finally we get that goal. Oh, now we've not got his second goal yet. Finally. <laughs> As I just say there, how we've not got his second goal yet. And we get the ball in from the corner. And uh, Golovin smashes it with his head. It's a brilliant header actually. Brilliant, brilliant power to it. I didn't <laughs> at first I thought it was actually, you know, uh, it gone over, but obviously you can tell it's gone in because yeah. The way it obviously comes back down the net. And there you go. It's a great header. Fantastic header to be fair. But yeah. 2 nil. <sighs> Shit man. Oh my god. That's the second goal I can see while I'm actually yawning. <laughs> I'm obviously tired a bit today. But. <sighs> I don't know. I, you know what. I have no words to say. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> God's sakes man. Okay. It is a, a victory at the end of the day. We just beat Brian by two goals to one. Um, we fully deserved to probably win by more goals. We was absolutely over them. We just pinged shots against their keeper, just couldn't get it in, or they blocked the ball. Simple as that. Uh, but we got the win. I guess that's all that matters. And three points in the bag for us. And uh, yeah, two wins out of two. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that'll be all from your boy Sneebles in this video. Of course, our new season started 
and uh, you know it's been a you know, great start to obviously this season to be fair um, except obviously the Wolves defeat that was a bit annoying um, but hey Wolves are oh, average trophy you know you don't get many I mean you won the FA Cup that's why you're in the Community Shield um, but yeah you take that trophy that's fine uh, we still obviously won your, your uh, Europa the UEFA Super Cup. I always get that mixed up. I don't know why, uh, but of course we beat Man City as well. Uh, first game of the season in the league uh, by three goals to one, and we beat Brighton by two goals to one, which should have been more goals, but is what it is. Uh, but we do have Newcastle in our next video to start off with, um, so that'll be an interesting game. Considering it's away and they're a decent team these days, and uh, to finish off the month we've got Berman in the Carabao Cup and uh, Watford of course away as well in the league so yeah you know it's what it is but we've got to do what we can do and that is you know as I always say is all you can do so yeah I'm, I'm happy with that got the results it needed uh, obviously got at least one of the two trophies that we could possibly get at the start and that's what I'm matters so obviously I'm going to finish off the transfers uh, as well in the next video so that'll be all good um, but yeah until then hope you guys of course enjoyed leave a like of course and subscribe much appreciated and I'll see you guys in the next episode of MK Don's Career Mode. Take care and peace.